Hello, you all beautiful people. How are you guys doing? But yeah. No. I was going to talk about something, but now I don't even remember what I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, I remember. I'm just a dummy. Dur, dur, dur. Um, so, the new congressional term just started. And today is January 4th as I'm recording this, and doesn't seem like you guys can see me that well with the way the sun was shining in the car. But, and in two days, January 6th for Congress to have a joint meeting to certify the electoral college votes for the president and vice president. So in about two days, if things go according to plan, Joe Biden will be certified as the president of the United States and will be inaugurated on January 20th, along with Vice President Kamala Harris. Okay, this is something that absolutely confuses me, but if she was running with Joe Biden as president. I guess this part doesn't really confuse me, but if she was running with Joe Biden as president, why did she continue running for the Senate? And I mean, people have done that before. Um, when Paul Ryan ran as vice president with, um, who did he run as vice president with? It was in the 2000, election I think uh, oh Mitt Romney is when he ran when he was um, picked as vice president running mate for Mitt Romney um but da -da -da -da. But it's not the fact that she ran as both vice president and senator. It's the fact that she still ran, still took the Senate spot. She was sworn in as a senator um, yesterday for the new congressional term. Bitch, you're going to be vice president later this month. Most people that have ran for president or vice president and also ran for another another um, office in the off in the chance that they don't win the president or vice presidency end up resigning after they've won. Let me adjust that. Yeah. Barack Obama in 2008 he resigned later in November early December ish around that time frame from the Senate to focus on the transition granted he was president but vice president just has as many important duties as well to get there administration ready it just doesn't make any sense to me why would you run why would you still take your senate spot when you're going to be vice president in less than 20 days unless she thinks there's a chance that she's not going to win which until the certification process happens in two days on January 6th, like every every um, year, election year, then they 
there. Not technically elected that to that spot. And I bring this up that there's still a chance because I said this in my last video a couple days ago that Ted Cruz and 11 other Republican senators are going to be challenging the certification of the electoral college votes. And so we'll have to see what happens with that. Because this also happened in the election of 1878. Where the person actually got voted for on election day in that November. And, on, and then the Congress didn't certify the electoral votes. And ended up election going over to the other guy. I don't remember who that election was for. But yeah. Essentially the same thing is happening here. And will Donald Trump be president later this month? I don't know. We kind of just got to wait to see how things play out. I would like him to be. I think Joe Biden would be a terrible president. He was a senator for 47 years, vice president for eight, and he did jack for this country. So that's my personal opinion on that. And and then come in the yesterday as well. Nancy Pelosi is re-elected as Speaker of the House, which I personally didn't actually think she was going to win, even with the Democratic majority. And the reason why I didn't think she was going to win is because there's actually a handful of Democrats who actually was opposing Nancy Pelosi as Speaker because a lot of them was feeling like they're the reason why Democrats lost seats in the House and Republican gain seats in the House of Representatives. Yeah. And I do agree with that statement. She's a nutcase. And she actually probably wouldn't have won. But she called but she called people to come down down who were exposed to COVID and also tested positive for COVID as there's actually a news article I read that a representative who re was recently tested positive for COVID was asked to fly down to vote for the speaker. Apparently they're so concerned with COVID only when it only when then it's not affecting them. The second they affect them they don't care. And Nancy Pelosi built a pixie glass area for those people. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not going to really help when they've walked around all this office space, coughing in the air, exposing COVID in the air to everybody that's walking through there. What do they have a rolling plexiglass thing that the second they got out of their car they stuck it in there and then they rolled away? No, I don't think that's how it went down. And it's just absolutely asinine for her to do something like that and risk the health of the other representatives on both sides. It just boggles my mind that they would do something like that. She doesn't she doesn't deserve the gavel as speaker. She doesn't. I really think out of the last 10 years or so, 
that the only really good speaker that we had was Paul Ryan. The guy before Paul Ryan wasn't very good. And before the guy before Paul Ryan was Nancy Pelosi again. And I'm really not really sure of who was before Nancy. But in all actuality, I think Paul Ryan was really the only good speaker we've had in a while. It just blows my mind that the Democrats will... do things like that. And I don't really... really understand. She's a nutcase. Many Democrats think she's the reason why they... Many Democrats think she's the reason why they lost seats in the House, and they are probably right about that. And yet, somehow, the Democrats still voted her for Speaker. Both leaderships in both Congress, both houses of Congress, need to get out of there. Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi. They both need to go. They truly do. <sighs> That's really all I needed, wanted to talk about today. I don't really have anything else. Nancy Pelosi votes for speaker. Democrats are stupid for voting for her. And it was actually a really narrow margin between between Kevin McCarthy and Nancy Pelosi for speaker. That is something I do know. And I'm not truly surprised by that. It was 217, the 210. All Nancy needed was 214. She got three more than that. Yeah. Leave a comment about how. Just leave me a comment about what you think. Should how things should be handled with the government, with the way they are acting as of lately, and the way that our current government is. Do you think Nancy Pelosi should have been speaker? Do you not? Well, don't really have any much else words to say. I think this may be my shortest vlog yet. All right, well, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. See ya.